Welcome back, IP3. I hope you're doing great, you're staying safe, and you're staying home. Today, we are having our review from lesson number one to uh, number 10, whatever we have taught. This is lesson number 11, and let's get right into it. Technology is effect, eye strain. Symptoms would include blurred visions, dry eyes. Eye strain also may lead to pains in other areas of your body, such as your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Several technical factors may lead to eye strain, such as screen time, screen glare, screen brightness, viewing too close or too far away from your screen, a poor sitting posture, which is how you sit in front of your computer and underlying visions issues. Solutions to eye strain. What are the solutions? It's taking a regular breaks away from the screen may reduce the likelihood of uh, eye strain. Anyone reg uh, regularly experiencing these symptoms should see the op optometr optometrist for checkup, uh, which this is just a doctor that checks your um, body. So if you experience too many of these issues, you need to get checked out by a doctor. Another thing is the 20-20-20 rule for digital viewing, which after 20 minutes of screen time, you take a 20 second break to look at something at least 20 feet away. So one more time. 20 minutes of screen time, 20 second break, and look at something that is 20 feet away. So remember this. Doing this may help reduce the strain on the eyes from staring, from staring at a screen for a continuous period. So doing this, it will help you to reduce the, the problematic things for your eye or eye screen. Reduced physical activity. This is another effect that technology causes, which finding ways to take breaks from, um, from these technologies may help promote a more active lifestyle, which is important. People have less time to go outdoor and less time doing sports and spend more time using different technologies from your laptop, computers, phones, tablets, playstations. You have so many technologies now this that it's almost, you have no time outdoor. Decreasing reading skills. Reading on a digital device is distracting. Technologies distract us and we tend to read less and less. Thinking skills, imaginations. It will affect your imagination with the various forms of technology available. Children are often more distracted and less likely to focus on something else when it is presented. Also, when there is a great deal of visual stimuli and a lack of story reading, this can impact children, uh, a child's development of imagination. So it's important that um, you get the chance to read stories and books because it helps your imagination to grow. Social skills creates social disconnection for young and older children alike, which can negatively impact the development of social and uh, re relational skills. 
Screen time is negatively associated with social skills development in toddlers. GNU. Uh, so now we're talking about the GIMP program. GNU is an image manipulation program. Is a powerful open source program, mainly for photo editing, also used for graphic design. GIMP is a free to use, it is a free to use program. So it's a freeware, okay? And this is the logo for GIMP. You'll see this after. For templates, it has after, uh, it has options to choose. So you can choose what template you want to choose. Do you want A0, A1, A2, A3? And is it for CD cover? Is it for toilet paper? Is it, what is it? So you can choose all these different options and yeah, so decide which you need. By clicking advanced options, you can get many options. You can set resolution, position, or background color. Click okay to create the plane. So you can click the advanced options right here. And you can see resolution, um, color, position, and like color profile, fill width for the background. If you have any comment, you can write it there and you simply um, click OK to create it. Next, we have toolbox. Tools help you to edit and work and uh, and work on the white plane. So these are your tools on the side, and in the middle is the white plane which you work, and it's your work surface or work area. Tools options shows the options for the tools that have uh, that you have selected. So every time you choose a tool, it will show the options for that tool. So for example, if you choose the brush, it will show you different brush options and you can choose which brush do you need, which color do you need and all that details. Canvas or work pane will show your image or comp uh, composition. So this white area is called canvas or work pane. So remember this. So this white area is called canvas or work pane. Next we have layers channels, paths, and undo panel, which is on the right and will display what is mentioned in the above names. Also the brushes and the gradient and panel is, the, is in the same area. So also you can find the different textures that you need. Maybe you need some um, tree texture or leaves or like a star texture so you can use it in this area. Tools are broken into four main groups. Selection tools, paint tools, transform tools, and other tools, which you can see here on the right. Selection tools allow you to select an area and it can help you to make edits 
only to the selected area. So you can see here on the right, the selection tools. Next, we have the paint tools. It allows you to freely draw or paint your image. You can use colors, patterns, transparency to paint. So these are all your paint tools. Transform tools allows you to transform an active layer section, uh, selection, or path. For example, you can scale something up or down or change its perspective using these options. Other tools allows you to perform various functions such as zoom in and zoom out, selecting foreground and background colors, drawing curves and adding text. So these are the other tools that you might need. Main menu. Two of the most important ones are the are colors and filters. Here you can find colors and filters on the top and you can open it and use it and see how it affects your image. Color menu helps a lot with image adjustments. So when you go to color, you can find color balance, um, color temperature, hue, uh, chroma, hue saturation, saturation, exposure, shadow highlights, um, brightness contrast levels, curves, and each of these um, options affect your image differently. So you can take a look and check them out if you haven't checked them till now, which is helpful for your editing skills. Filters are overlaid on your image as a second layer. Blurred fi blur filter is useful. For example, Gaussian blur is very useful for you to use. Enhance and sharpen. Light and shadow, drop shadow, long shadow, and big, big it, big net. Map, little planet, animation, playback when working with GIFs. So these are some filters that can be useful. Most useful would, I would say, um, might be enhance and blur. Light and shadow can be useful. These would be more useful, but you can try out the others as well. Open images, go to file, open, select the photo and click open. And you just click open and you can select the file that you want to open and you can select it here and click open here. For opening a file in current work plane, go to file, open as a layer, select the photo and click open. So open as a layer, the same similar process. Saving your file, go to file, save, or save as, rename the file and select the position where you want to save it and click save. So maybe you want to save it as that desktop. So you have to select desktop and click save after. And don't forget to choose the name on the top here. You can choose the type of the file you want to save as. You can check it out here which type you want to save and you can export it as that specific style. Now you have some homework to do. Please do the homework on Google Forms. 
this is the link that you can open. You can click on it and go on the website and answer all the questions. Use the link to answer all the questions and click submit at the end of the page. There is no need to post anything on e-learning system for today's homework. Today's homework is only done using the Google Forms and I will get the results in a list automatically and I will check it once everyone has done it. I will get it from Google Forms. So no need to post anything on e-learning system for today's homework, all right? The due date is 4th of February. So please finish it by then. Thank you all. Have a great weekend. Take care. Stay safe. Goodbye.